everybody, here we are for round three. We've won the die roll. We're going to play first and uh, hopefully see something less constructed-y. Uh, we've got a two drop. We've got a three drop, but that probably won't win a fight. But this seems fine. Forest and a go. If our opponent slightly stumbles, that initiate's companion can do some serious work. So uh, let's hope for a stumble here. Or that they play a 1x, like a Dune Beetle. Dune Beetle would be awesome. Black White. Doomed Dissenter. Um, not ideal. We technically could fight and kill it, but then we'd uh, have to deal with the, the zombie that exists afterwards. Um, I guess we go ret crop. We can get all first strikey with it. Although, boy, do I fear a splendid agony right about now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Those who serve, sure. Foil those who serve. No attack. Okay, what can we do? We can cartouche and trade, which is less than ideal. We can come in exerty. I think we come in exerty. We get to eat something, even if it's just a 1 1, so be it. We at least get the zombie on the battlefield before any zombie trigger shenanigans start going off. Takes four. Sure. Sure thing. Uh, I guess we probably play the Binding Mummy and cycle the Sandworm. Because we are so far away from playing that Sandworm. Dune Beetle. I was just talking about you. I will take two. Let's cycle the sandworm. Drawing a forest. And another forest. Seems good. Uh, yeah, let's cartouche the companion to fight the beetle. The cat eats the bug. And then let's bash in for two. You want a zombie? You can get a zombie. You don't want a zombie yet. Pourquoi? Let's drop a kitty cat. Pass the turn. <clears throat> let's draw no more lands. Well, no, we do need a planes at some point. Uh, cycle a winged shepherd, sure. Oh, I guess my opponent's missing a land. Yeah, they are one land behind. Passing the turn again. Naga Vitalist. Well, there's the other white that I need. Um, let's get all first strikey with it. Impeccable timing. Chump luck? Sure. Now impeccable timing. Time to reflect. Mighty leap. The mightiest of leaps. Yep. Those zombies can jump. Alright, we'll drop our vitalist and pass the turn. <clears throat> Binding mummy, rot row. And a wasteland scorpion, rot row.
Come on, Oketra's attendant. In for two. I will take it. Uh, that does literally nothing except kill my initiates, companion. <laughs> um, let's see. I will pass the turn is what I will do. In for two, you say. You say, you say. Uh, I'll trade. Cool. Takrop Elite. Sure. I will drop an exemplar. Eat the cat. Play the cat. Could maybe come in with the companion. We'd get to kill something off. Because I don't like that bird being there and having a, a bit of a board. Uh, yeah, let's come in with the cat. <clears throat> Chump, sure. And I will untap my planes. Pass the turn. All right, we've got so many cartouches left and a compulsory rest. It's going to come in for two. That's fine. Opponent's going to pass the turn. That's fine. I will come in for four. What you got, opponent? Cast out. Ew. Uh, we may be bringing Forsake the Worldly. I think that might be a thing to do. Let's drop Bitterblade. Pass the turn. Turning into a race that I don't like here. I will take two. <laughs> it's a race that I don't like because I'm not attacking. Uh, let's get all death touchy with it. Cycle forsake the worldly. Sure. He's digging for something. And he found something? What did he find? Start. Sure. Double block. Double block, get a zombie. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, how do we get out of this? We get Oketra's attendant, but he's got finish in the graveyard, which is bad news. Um, anything good for Hapatra's mark? Just the finish, just like match one. Oh, and cast out actually. Yeah, I think Hapatra's mark comes in, and dusk goes far away. Hasty bat. Gonna hit me for six in the air or four? Probably just four. In for four. 
Please don't let there be a land on top. Cartouche. Hoodie bee. Hoodie bee. In you go. And pass the turn. Uh, are we just dead? Block, block, block. No, we're not dead, but we're close. I don't know if Forsake the Worldly... Well, maybe Forsake the Worldly comes in as well. We'll have to see. Goodbye, Hoodie B. Oh, now are we dead? No, he had to sack a creature. So we're still not dead. We're just real close. We're just real, real close. Welp. Block. Block. Go to two. Go to three with the lifelink. Boy, I wish I could dusk right now. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This requires nine mana to uh, actually pull off. So what can we do? We can Dusk right now so that we can Dawn next turn. Um, we can Stinging Shot. No, we're just dead. We're just dead. We, we, we can cycle the Stinging Shot, see what we can see. Nope, we're dead. All right, that sucked. That was way too many lands. Way too many lands. Stop at Magic Online. There we go. Uh, okay. Forsake the Worldly, you come in. And Hippotra's Mark, you come in. What leaves? What leaves? Dust to Dawn. And also... Also... Maybe one of the cats? Yeah, one of the cats can go. All right. Let's go back in. Let's do good. Match one is how this deck was supposed to work. I really like this deck. We'll play first. We'll see a hand that is keepable. And we'll play. All right. Just need, like, a planes and a two drop. <coughs> Turn two top deck. Give me a bitter blade warrior. Uh, well, there's the planes that we wanted. So now we can hoodie bee into oncrop. Cycle cast out. Pardon me moi? What the f... Who cycles a cast out? Ruthless sniper. Boy, I haven't seen enough of that card today. He cycled a cast out. <laughs> Hooded brawler. In you go. <coughs> Hooded Brawler, please don't die. Blighted Bat, sure. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to cartouche up the Hooded Brawler. Make it a 4-3. We're going to bash in for four. And then I don't really want to fight just yet. <coughs> but it would use up all my mana. Um, yeah, I guess we fight. And I guess there wouldn't have been enough damage marked on it for that to kill it. So we probably could have fought and got one more point of damage through. But now we've got a 5-4 first strike trample. That can become a 7-6 first strike trample. <laughs> Cast out number two. 
in for two because it's not blocking anyways. And a Doom Dissenter, sure. And a Binding Mummy, sure. So. Uh, in for five. Chump, take four, get a zombie. Chump. Ooh. Take five. All right. On crop. Down you go. Give me another cartouche on top. That'd be nice. Cartouche up the on crop. Cartouche. No, you don't need lifelink. It's the last thing you need. Counter on my on crop. Sure. In for three, sure thing. <laughs> hey, cartouche again. Uh, well, we will cartouche up the on crop. We will kill the mummy. Yes. And then we will go in exert, in exert, and in. <clears throat> so that's 11, 12 coming at the opponent. Seven of it trample. Oh, no, all of it trample except for the vigilance guy. So opponent's going to take 12. Uh, unless they've got an impeccable timing. Nope. Down to three. And we'll drop an Augur Vitalist just for good measure. So we've got 7-6 Trample threatening next turn. Opponent cycled. Feels like we're playing Theros here or something. Two cards in hand. Forsake the worldly cycle. They're digging. Not sure for what. There we go. We got there. All right. Let's do that again. Let's do that one more time. All right. Here we are for game three, and we've got a keepable hand. We've got a turn two exemplar, a turn three, a turn four. Exerting out that. Boy, am I keeping that. We basically just need to draw a land. Draw a land. There it is. Let's play the irrigated farmland. Next up will be forest and exemplar. Cycle, sure. <clears throat> Two drop. Dune beetle. All right. I will hold off my aggression slightly. Drop the exemplar counter it up. Next up, Hoodie B. <clears throat> I'd really like to attack with this. But I feel like something's probably going to get played. Ooh, perhaps not? All right, we're going to get an attack. It may just die to a combat trick or something, but uh, that's better than it just not being able to attack. So, yeah, we're still in the Hooded Brawler plan. So we'll attack in for one, take a counter off, make it two, gain a life. 
block, so we are going to see a mighty leap or something. Or just... Okay, okay. Just the chump check. So let's drop Hoodie B. <clears throat> Hoodie B might even eat some removal here, which will make uh, the way clear for our champion. There's the agony. Ooh, ooh, killing both. Aggressive. Wasteland Scorpion. All right, so we'll slam the Hooded Brawler into that Wasteland Scorpion exerted. Just to get it off the battlefield. Ooh, a cartouche, you say? Come on in for four. Takes four. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. So... I don't want to run that champion into removal. Really don't want to. So we can initiate its companion and compulsory rest. Um, I wouldn't mind compulsory resting that scorpion. Yeah, let's do that. It's not the best compulsory rest target, but if our opponent stumbles slightly... We're going to get there because Companion can fight the Beetle. Seems okay. <clears throat> Bone Picker. Pretty good. Hapatra's mark, you say? Well then. Um, well then. Well, 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 well then. Ah, uh, sure. Let's drop the champion. <laughs> Don't get cast out, please. Two cards in hand. That's one card out of, like, 28. Unlikely unlikely chances of it happening. Tap, 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 tap. Ooh. Coming in for three, sure. Land. Two cards in hand. Winged Shepherd. Boy, are we ever fighting that. Ha! 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 Uh, yeah. Ooh, but what do we fight it with? The champion only really needs to swing in once and get the Honored Hydra out. Like, we have no other creatures to cheat out. So if he trades the champion for the Dune Beetle, I think I'm okay with that. So let's suit that up. <clears throat> let's fight the Shepherd. So there's that problem gone. We could come in with Hoodie B, we can come in with Champion, uh, we can't come in with the Companion. Uh, we get to cheat out an Honored Hydra. Which will be all nice and trampoly. So, kill champion, take four, go to 12. Opponent's only got a card in hand. Really want a forest so I can keep up that mark. Because if this gets cast out, it's going to suck. Wreck crop, sure, that's fine. Blighted bat, okay. Well, they're out of cards. <laughs> we got that going for us. But it's becoming a race. So, so, I think we come in with both, we get in for seven, or sorry, not seven, that's not how math works, we get in for five, and then the initiate's companion successfully kills something as well, and if it, if they don't block it, we get to untap the hydra.
And then I feel like we just hold up the Hippotra's mark because we need that Hydra to live. Ooh, intriguing. So they're just going to take six. Sure. So they're dead to Hydra next turn. I guess they can sack that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep up the mark. Because <clears throat> I need that to not go into exile. And I'm fine taking five. We might get there. We might just get there. All right. Opponent's going to attacks. No attacks. Ha ha. They are afraid. Ooh, there we go. All right. So we will cartouche the Hydra and kill the bone picker oh, no oh that was bad I never remember that it has death touch. Why is death touch at the frigging bottom? Why is that stupid other text there? French vanilla things are always at the top. <laughs> arg, 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 arg. Okay, well. In an exert. Crap, Ola. I hate when, I'll never understand why they do that. Like, flying is at the top. You know, flying, vigilance, is at the top. Why is flying death touch at the bottom? All right, in for four. Damn it. Oh, it sucks. Gain two, sure. Death touch is at the top. I think it must be like cost reduction abilities go first or something. But I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, let's bring the Hydra back. Pass the turn. <clears throat> Still have Hippotra's mark up. Cast out. Forsake the worldly cycle, sure. What did opponent find? Gustwalker, sure. And those who serve, sure. Well, I'll make my honored Hydra first strikey like. And then we'll come in for 11. <clears throat> in, exert, in. First strike and trample. Chump block, take three. Jump block, go to one. The double blocks. Uh, let's get rid of Gustwalker. So opponent goes to three, and we get to drop uh, Hooded Brawler number two. Or sorry, opponent takes three, goes to one. 
All right. All right. <laughs> we punted. We punted big, but we're okay. We got there. Dusk. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oops. Too late. <laughs> the message will never get sent. All right. Even with that giant punt due to what I consider very poor templating on Wizard's part, uh, we went 2-1. Not too bad. I really liked that deck. I thought it was really good. Um, we ran into one of the problems with leagues and this format of facing one of the best constructed, playable, almost cycling decks I've ever seen um, and obviously lost to that. But yeah, that was fun. Uh, we have one more Amonkhet draft next week and then we will be into Hour of Devastation which looks interesting. There were a lot of spoilers today and uh, I foresee more aggression but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how more uh, cards come out of that. Uh, so stay, stay tuned. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions you can find me on Twitter at the Manaleek. That's L-E-E-K like the vegetable, not the card. You can find me at Facebook.com slash Manaleek, Twitch.tv slash the Manaleek where I'll be streaming some magic next week and I've been streaming some non-magic as well. Uh, Player Unknown's Battleground, uh, Overwatch. I'm going to actually do random games from my Steam collection and try that out. That could be horrible. That could be really fun. Who knows? Uh, audience participation games like Jackbox Games, Choice Chamber, etc. So check that out. And you can also find me at Patreon.com slash the Mana Leak. Uh, as always, click that thumbs up button if you like the content. Click subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, if you have those questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, see you all next time.